All right, in this lesson, we are going to teach you how to calculate taxes using the progressive rate structure. Now, this is an important lesson because the way that we're calculating taxes in this lesson will be replicated in every other chapter that we will teach you in this course. So it's important to understand how taxes are actually calculated, and we're gonna run through some examples so that you know how to calculate it the next time you get a question on taxes or tax liability. So let's remind you a little bit of the progressive rate structure. So here's an example of a progressive rate structure. And we said that the progressive rate structure tax rate increases as the tax base increases. So here's my tax bases or my tax brackets. And as you can see, they're increasing. And as they're increasing, the tax rates are increasing. Now, one of the things that you should know is that when we look at this tax bracket, we say that if your income is between $20,000 and $1 through $80,000, your tax rate is 12%. But it's important to know that that 12% is only on the amount over $20,000 up to $80,000, which means your first $20,000 is still taxed at this 10% tax rate. It's just the amount that goes over that $20,000 up to $80,000 that is taxed at 12%. And then when we move into the 14, uh, 22%, it's the only, the amount over $80,000 up to 175,000 and so on and so on. So if someone's saying that they're in the 24% tax bracket, it doesn't mean all of their income is being taxed at 24%. It's only the amount over $175,001 through 330,000 that's taxed at the 24% tax bracket. So giving you that, let's talk a little bit about how do we solve it. So I've got some examples here that we're gonna run through and you can follow along so that you know how to calculate taxes. So this one's a little bit longer, but assume you had a taxable income of $225,000. What is your total tax based on that level of income? So if we were just taking the basics, 225, what looks like we would be in between here and here, so we would be in the 24% tax bracket. Now it's not simply just 225,000 times 24%, it's the only the amount Af, uh, above $175,000 that is subject to 24%. So the way that I would calculate is I would calculate it based on bracket. So we start at the very lowest and then we work our way up until we've uh, calculated all the taxes for, uh, for $225,000. So the first bracket here, it's zero to 20,000. So uh, $20,000 at 10% gives us $2,000. So that takes care of 20,000 of this 225. So that's kind of how I like to look at it. I've got 225 that I have to tax. The first 20,000 over here is gonna be at 10%. Then the next 60,000, and I'll show you how I get 60,000 in a minute, will be taxed at 12%. So how do we get 60,000? Well, the second tax bracket is 2,000 and one dollar, or sorry, twenty thousand and one dollar minus eighty thousand dollars. So the correct way is eighty thousand minus twenty thousand dollars, because we're going to exclude twenty thousand because we've already taxed that in the first tax bracket, times twelve percent, and that will give you seven thousand two hundred dollars. And then we can go to the next one. The next one here is 80,000 to 175. So we can go 175 minus 80,000. That would give you 95,000 times, uh, looks like we're at the 22% tax bracket at that point. That gives us 20,000 nine hundred dollars and then the final tax bracket and this is final because if we notice 225 is between 175 and 330 so we're not just going to take 330 minus 175 and multiply it by 24 we're going to take the max amount in this case is 225 and we're going to subtract 175 
and we're gonna multiply that by 24%, and we get $12,000. So, we've got $95,000 there, and then our last bunch here looks like $50,000. So, we've now accounted for all $225,000, but some are gonna be taxed at a lower tax bracket, some are gonna be taxed at a higher tax bracket. Cumulatively, we add all those four numbers together that we just calculated, and we get $42,100. So this taxpayer is gonna to have to pay, or they should have paid, $42,100 in taxes. Now remember, we're not saying that we're taking their 225 and multiplying by 24%, because if we did that, this amount would be much higher. So the answer here, total tax liability for this uh, client here is $42,100. So let's do one more example here so that we get a little bit more practice. In our next example here, we're gonna make, keep it a little bit simple. We are at 35,000. So 35,000, we would be right here in that bracket. Now, if you watched a previous lesson, we said that you would use the tax table, but we're not gonna use the tax table here. We wanna give you more practice here on how we would use the tax brackets, okay? So first bracket here is $20,000. So uh, our amount obviously exceeds $20,000. So we're gonna take all $20,000 multiply it by 10%, and we would get $2,000. Then the second bracket we would have is 35,000 minus 20,000, so 15,000, that would make sense, right? If we've already taxed 20,000 of it, we haven't taxed 15,000, so 15,000 times the next tax bracket of 12%, and that gives us $1,800. Then we add up all of our bracket calculations, our intermediate calculations, and we get $3,800. So this taxpayer should have paid through their withholdings or should have paid through quarterly estimates or should have somehow paid $3,800 of taxes for that tax year. And if they paid more than that, they would get a refund. If they paid less than that, then that is what they're gonna have to, the difference is gonna be what they're gonna remit to the IRS or the Department of Treasury at the end of the tax year by the filing deadline, okay? So to kind of review some key distinctions that you should know about calculating using the tax brackets, when moving into a new tax bracket, it doesn't mean all of your income will be subject to the higher rate, just the amount over that bracket. Always calculate each bracket individually and then add up your tax calculations for each bracket to get your tax liability. So it's super important that you understand how we calculate taxes using the tax bracket system or the tax rate structure system uh, because it's not just simply taking the tax uh, rate and multiply it by the, the entire tax base. You have to break it out based on each tax layer, all right? So hopefully you understand that. If you don't understand or you need a little bit more practice, make sure you rewind the tape all the way to the beginning and watch this again. Um, it's probably better uh, that you follow along, so write it on a piece of paper or pause the video and try to do it on your own and then see if you did it right based on my explanation. So with that, we'll see you in the next video.